Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to answer this probability problem. Okay, let's start. So to answer the given probability problem, we're going to use Venn diagrams. All right? So it's nice to recall this to Venn diagrams. Okay? So here, when I say set A, you're going to count all the elements in the given set A, okay? So you focus on this shaded portion, okay? And then when I say not A, you consider all the elements outside A. Do you see? Lahat shaded except kay set A. So yun ang ibig sabihin ng not A. Ganun din if I say set B. Okay, ang ishade nyo naman, is the given set B. Kapag naman sinabi kong not B, okay, you shade all the portion outside B. It is also nice to recall how do we get the probability of a given set. Okay, so this is how you do it. Okay, to get the probability of A, okay, all you have to do is to count the number of elements in the given set A, and then you divide it by the total number of elements. Okay, the number of elements in the given universal set. All right, and then lastly, please recall this formula. How do you get the probability of union of two sets, okay, or two events? Diba? This is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. Okay, anong gagawin kapag walang intersection? Okay, or if the two events are mutually exclusive, magzi-zero out lang itong probability ng A intersection B. Okay, so let's answer the given problem. So here's the problem. You have a bowl of candies, okay, and this bowl contains 10 chocolate candies, 8 coffee candies, and 12 caramel candies. And then we're going to find these five probabilities, okay? So let me show you a Venn diagram that represents this probability problem here, okay? So parang itong rectangle, ito yung bowl, yeah? And this bowl contains three kinds of candies, all right? Okay, and then after that, let's find the total number of candies. So we let N of U be the total number of candies in the bowl. This is our notation, okay? This gives the number of elements in the universal set, okay? So, ito siya, okay? N of U is equal to 10, ito yun, 10 plus 8 plus 12, okay? So, we have 30 candies in all. We will use this number here in getting these five probabilities. Okay, so itong 30, ito yung magiging denominator natin because that is the total number of candies in the bowl. Okay, so let's start. First, we get the probability of getting a chocolate candy or a coffee candy. By Venn diagram, this represents the set of chocolate candies. Okay, this one, this represents the set of coffee candies, okay? And as you can see, wala naman silang intersection. So, to get the probability of chocolate or coffee, all you have to do is to count the number of chocolate candies and the number of coffee candies. You add them. So, you get 18. And then, you divide it by the total number of candies. So, over 30. So, you have 18 over 30. Right? And then you get its simplest form. Okay? 18 divided by 6, you will get 3. 30 divided by 6, you will get 5. So the answer is 3 fifths. But if you want to write your solution, pwede ganito. Okay? So the probability of getting a chocolate candy or a coffee candy is equal to, since wala naman itong intersection, okay? Again, you consider this as your A, and then this is your B. So you have probability of A or B. Kapag walang intersection, this is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. So like this. 
Okay, it is equal to probability of getting a chocolate plus probability of getting a coffee candy. What is the probability of getting a chocolate candy? It is equal to 10 over 30, right? Because 10, that's the number of chocolate candies in the bowl. And then over 30 because we have a total of 30 candies in the bowl, okay? Same here in getting the probability of getting a coffee candy. It is 8 over 30. So that's why we have this, okay? And then you simply add them you'll get 18 over 30. And then you simplify. You divide both the numerator and the denominator by 6, you will get 3 fifths. Okay? So this is your final answer. Okay? Let's continue. Now we get the probability of getting a caramel candy or getting a candy which is not a coffee candy. Using Venn diagrams here, okay? Ito yung nag represent ng caramel. Right? What about ito? Not coffee. So, ibig sabihin nun, ishade nyo lahat except yung set of coffee candies. Ito siya. Yeah? Okay. Now, you check. Meron ba silang intersection? Okay? What do I mean by that? Meron ba silang common shaded portion? Meron ba silang parehong shaded? You see? Ito. Since meron silang intersection, you have to eliminate one intersection. Okay? To avoid double counting. Okay? So, tatanggalin na natin to. Now, using Venn diagrams only, you can easily get this probability. Okay? Probability of getting a caramel candy or not a coffee candy. Okay? So, i-add up nyo lang lahat ng mga numbers na nasa shaded portion. So, that's 10 plus 12 that's 22, and then divide it by the total number of candies, which is 30. So you will get 22 over 30. Okay, you simplify. Okay, you divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. You will get 11 over 15. But then again, if you want to write your solution, ganito siya ginagawa. So we want to get the probability of getting a caramel candy or a candy which is not a coffee candy. Ito yung A mo, and then this is your B. Okay? So you get probability of A or B. Here. Okay? So this one is equal to probability of A plus probability of B, okay, minus the probability of A and B. Okay? And means intersection. Okay? So, what is the probability of getting a caramel candy? Nasaan yun? Ang caramel, 12. So, 12 over 30. Plus, what is the probability of getting a candy which is not a coffee candy? Ito yun, 10 plus 12. So, you will get 22 divided by 30. And then minus, what is the probability of getting a caramel and not coffee? So, yung intersection ng dalawa, which is itong portion na to, itong Kung ilang caramel. So, that's 12 over 30. Okay? So, we have this. Okay? Because it's very clear na magka-cancel out lang naman ito. Okay? So, you get 22 over 30. You get its lowest term. You will have what? 11 over 15. Okay. Let's continue. Now, we answer letter C. So, madali lang to kasi kamukha nito yung letter A. Okay? So, we have these two Venn diagrams. Okay? And then, from this Venn diagram, we can easily get the probability of getting a coffee candy or a caramel candy. It's 8 plus 12, you get 20. So, 20 over 30. If you get its lowest term, it is 2 over 3. Okay? But if you want to write the solution, you may have this. All right? Okay, let's have letter D. This time, we get the probability of getting a chocolate candy or a candy which is not a caramel candy. Okay? Let's consider again the Venn diagrams here. Okay? So, you see, meron na naman silang intersection. Nakita nyo? Eto. Okay? Kapag may intersection, kailangang i-eliminate yung isang intersection to avoid double counting. 
So, X na natin yan. Using this Venn diagram, what is the answer for letter D? It is 18 over 30. Okay? Which is equal to 3 over 5. Okay? But if you want to write the solution, if you want to see the solution, here. Okay? So, kapareho lang ito ng solution ng letter B. Lastly, we have letter E. Okay? We get the probability of getting a coffee candy or getting a candy which is not a chocolate candy. Okay? Venn diagrams again. Okay? Ito yung set of coffee candies. Okay? Tapos ito namang mga shaded portion na ito. Ito yung set of candies which are not chocolate candies. Right? Okay. Nakita niyo yung intersection? Ito. Anong gagawin sa intersection? Tatanggalin yung isa to avoid double counting. Here. Okay? So, if you check, okay, you only have 8 plus 12, you have 20. 20 over 30 or 2 thirds. So, 2 thirds ang sagot dito. Okay? If you want to write the solution, here. Alright? So, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.